host Shairi here and welcome to my Thailand Tales. We are in Krabi in the Aonang beach area. Firstly, I would like to say that I just love Thailand. I had booked Hotel Day Vin in Aonang beach area. The property was superb. The staff always greeted me with a smile no matter what time of the day it was. And Swadika! Day Vin was a beach hotel. One could access the beach from the passage that you can see on the screen right now. The hotel also had a remarkable restaurant named Rabiang Tale, which served a hearty and sumptuous breakfast and other meals. Watching the sun set while sipping a hot cup of tea from the restaurant was a marvelous experience. This is the beautiful Aonan Beach. As you can see, the sun is setting and it's just beautiful. Exotic Krabi has become more exotic with the setting of the sun and the sea behind me. I found out something about our hotel. The front side of our hotel had an empty space. This space was turned into a live kitchen and barbecue in the evening. Fresh shrimps, squids, red salmon, chicken and fruits were laid down in full glory to be favored. And that's what I did. You could choose your own seafood, vegetables or fruits, whatever you wanted to eat and they would cook it in front of you so it was fresh and it was customized and it was so so yummy i love to shop i'm neither guilty nor ashamed about it this place had amazing stuff. There were garments, beautiful garments, beautiful accessories, there were bags, there were jewelries, there were mementos and souvenirs that I brought for everybody back home. So basically I did a lot of shopping. I could not resist. And not only that, you know the things were calling out to me. They were calling, Shairi, Shairi, come here, come here baby. What to do? I had to listen to them. I know the shopper in you is just dying to come out. So this stretch is the place to be. Just shop till you drop and get this amazing things over here. Um, made in Tha everything made in Thailand and really really nice stuff. Look at the items. Aren't they great? Won't you feel like buying one of those beautiful cute magnets or the hats or the stoles or the scarves or the palazzos? Just look, you have got so many things to buy from. And that's what I did. I kept buying. Swadika, this is Franan K. Vailand. And it's just beautiful. So this is one of the best islands to enjoy in the four island trip. This is the first island we have come in. Just look around. It's really really mesmerizing. So Adika, this is Bamboo Beach and you can do snorkeling and swimming in the designated areas. Um, as I can say, this is magical. I am just sitting under these trees and I am loving it. And don't forget to carry sunscreen. I am carrying one. I suggest you carry more than one. And enjoy. Enjoy yourselves to the fullest by indulging in some snorkeling, rock climbing or swimming activities. Look at this! 
This is called the chicken island. Doesn't it look like a chicken? Look at it very carefully and you will understand why is this called a chicken island. This map is very crucial. It shows all the islands, their distances, the names of the island, where they are situated. So you will get a lot of information from this map. So after a long day of sightseeing, all you need to do is to relax yourself and pamper yourself. So the best way to do it is to get a foot massage. What do we have here? As I was exploring Krambi by feet, I came across this restaurant or eatery selling roll ice creams. The word roll ice cream intrigued me. There were many options and I chose a mango flavored one. Neither did I know what a roll ice cream was, nor did I know that they were going to make it from scratch. I was pleasantly surprised by the unique process of making the roll ice cream. And trust me, it was out of this world. Again, I went to another shop and had another yummy roll ice cream. I was and still am totally blown over by the roll ice creams. I always try the local cuisines of all the places I visit. Along with it, I also tried Indian food from a restaurant called Nuri India. The people of the restaurant were very friendly and always smiling and I really loved the food. These are paintings by some local artists. Aren't they spectacular? I like to soak up the atmosphere of the place and just look around and see what's going on. The pace at which the city or the town is moving. I hope you have liked Krabi, the way I have seen it, the way I explored it. Next time, I will see you in Bangkok. Till then, stay happy and keep smiling. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel.